about eight then. Right. And ben literally had to carry me out of there. I mean, I didn't stop crying for about three days. But I did call the lab school. Marty Cathcart is here from the lab school. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um, and I called and talked to them and Sally Smith, and they, they were outraged because no Because one this was news to them. This was news to right. them. I mean, Quinn wasn't exactly the star of his class, but but this woman just said, you know, I've done it's the over. testing, and it's over. it's over, and he will not have a life. And then I got really angry, and I just looked at him, and I thought, I, this is this magical person who mm -hmm. is so smart and got such a great sense of humor and so talented, and he's got so many things going for him. I, I'm not going to accept this. Mm -hmm. I will not believe this. And it sort of reinforced my idea of just sort of putting everything I had into Quinn. Do you remember any of this? No. To be honest with you, no. I, I, was, I got a message on friendsofquinn.com uh, from the, uh, a um, person. I guess he was sort of like a speech therapist. Mm -hmm. And he uh, worked on me when I was two years old and hasn't seen me since I was two. And saw an article about me in Newsweek and wrote in. And I just think it's... One of the most amazing feelings to see these doctors who worked on you when you were two and they haven't seen you since. And didn't know. And they didn't, didn't know, know yeah. Was. And, you know, but th now you'd like to believe that he was telling me, you know, you were always striving and always such a, an adventurous little child. But there's always a little part of you saying, is he, are they saying that now because I've come out with a book and I have my own or, or right. a website friends and quinn are they saying it to flatter you yeah or do they really mean it i have a feeling they probably really mean it but sure Carol, yeah i'd like to follow up on one yeah. thing that you said um you yes. were asking quinn about the honesty nice in his about book Jeff, who's here. right and and uh, how he was so honest and um, a lot of people have asked him about that because he really lays it out and it's he does. painfully truth painfully truthful mm -hmm. um, and Carol had asked you about that earlier but why did you do that Quinn? Why were you so honest? Why did you reveal so many family? About your mom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well I've, I've always been. Well actually your father said yeah. the same thing because I, I remember your father in one of his little vignettes is saying you just don't mess with Sally Quinn. You just don't do it. You just don't go there. So, oh, I've so always <laughs> <laughs> one of my little vignettes. <laughs> <laughs> one of your big vignettes? <laughs> well, <laughs> don't do it. You just don't go there. So, oh, I've so always seen <laughs> one of my little vignettes. <laughs> <laughs> one of your big vignettes? <laughs> well, I, yes. I've always been honest, um, and according to them, I've never told a lie to them. Well. Um, and I kind of teased maybe I can run for president. Uh, yeah, no, you don't want to. No, you can't. And why? Why would you want no, to? No. But uh, let me let me then. I want to just move it just ahead a little bit because because you've you've had this awful uh, uh, bit of news from a therapist who you don't uh, agree with, and she says that it's retardation and that it's over. But and maybe you'll remember this day, I'm sure all three of you do, when you go to see Dr. Sprinson. Sprin oh, thank you yeah. for pronouncing yeah. it for me, because that was a very important day in all your lives. I'd love to have each of your recollections of that day. Well, in the first place, yeah. he plainly wasn't retarded. Well, well I mean, that's he had, he had all sorts of difficulties. Yeah. But you know, being retarded is something else, and it's quite recognizable. I so think. you got angry? Yeah, I did. And what did you do with your anger? Took it out of the moment. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> this place is stacked against me. <laughs> yeah, but, but you were angry and you knew it wasn't true. Yeah. But it still was quite a while before you had an answer. Yeah, before we knew exactly what, what it was. What it was. Yeah. That's, so it, it's like even and though you knew he wasn't retarded, it's not like it got easier. You were still facing no, a great no, unknown. No, I didn't say that. Yeah. But I, but it, but it, uh, uh, I didn't want to live with something that I didn't think was true. Right. So, you did not go to an institution. You stayed in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, but 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 please tell us what happened. We you spent the first two years of school in the lap of the most beautiful teacher I ever oh. saw in my life. And I said, I stopped worrying about him then. No. <laughs> Skid gets an education where he wants to. <laughs> um, Remember her? But yeah, wow. <laughs> Wait a 
minute. Right. That's father son bonding. I don't remember her that much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because she wasn't a problem. You didn't have to fight her. <laughs> so you're 13 or 14 years old, and you go to see Dr. Princeton. And what happens? Um, well, I was 14 mm -hmm. years old, uh, and he, I walked in there, and at the time he had seen about 2,000 patients, and I walked in there and said, yep, you have VCFS, and just he pointed at, at me. You. Were I you both in the room when this yes. happened? I, I think after you see about 2,000 patients, you can kind of point, start pointing fingers at people uh, who have it, but, you know, a lot of people take it so hard it's, and they kind of they when they learn that their child has this it's almost they take it as if their child has cancer and they don't know what to do with it mm -hmm. uh they think it's the end of the world you know nothing's going to be you know it was sort of the beginning for, for you wasn't yeah, it yeah and it was uh the beginning of the beginning well pronounce um, it correctly since i didn't it's velo facial cardio syndrome Hello. CFS, velocardio, facial yeah. syndrome. Yeah. Um, and what, what is it in a few short sentences? If um, it is a deletion of 22, of the 22 chromosome. Mm -hmm. um, it's a genetic it's defect. It's a genetic defect. And a lot of it is uh, hereditary, but mine was just a fluke. Random. Um, yeah. And uh, it's, you know, you, you kind of question... Some people might ask, you know, why did I get this? And I've only asked that once, and I was really depressed at the time. Um, but, you know, if you think about it, everybody has uh, problems, 